Hello there everyone, it's Austin here with another Minecraft tutorial. We're going to be doing this awesome starter house that you see right behind me. It has everything you need and is made with easy to gather materials, that way you can make it at the start of your new worlds. Let's get this build started and do this thing block by block. Let's go. Alright, so here we go with the block palette. We got a variety of stuff here. I'm going to suggest you gather all these materials before we get into the how-to. Just that way you can follow along easily and just, if you need a block, you have a block to go along. So we're going to use everything from pumpkins to armor stands, oak, spruce, sweet berry bushes, leaves, obsidian, cobblestone. We got a variety of blocks and that's because for a survival world, we like stuff to be appealing and be functional. So these are all easy to gather materials, but we still got a decent color palette here to work with. And now over here on the left is gonna be everything we use on the interior of the build. So if you wanna to wait to get these materials until after you finish the exterior, that's okay. But I would still suggest to do it beforehand. And then that stone in the back by the beds is actually gonna be used for a pond that I made just outside the house. It's gonna be useful if you don't have a body of water by you and you need it for fishing, or it could literally just be for aesthetics so it's appealing to look at. But either way, let's get this how-to started. All right, and here we go with the dimensions, guys. Everything's laid out in wool for you, and we're just gonna start off by adding the first layer of everything. So this is gonna be a 10 by six, and we're first just gonna be laying out oak logs on each of the corners. And then after that, we're gonna be doing oak planks in between each one of these oak logs, and we'll count this out, okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're just gonna do the same thing on these next two sides. And once we have this complete, the next thing we're gonna do is be adding oak logs to the corners. We're gonna build it up to five blocks high. So two, three, four, five. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. And then we just connect them together at the top. Now we head over to the back of the house and we do the same thing. Five blocks high, two, three, four, five, connect it at the top. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the front of the house first, which what we're gonna do here is just build up each side and oak logs all the way to the top. And then we just put two upside down stairs here because this is gonna be the entrance to our house right here. These are where the doors are gonna go. So we're just gonna leave that opening for now. And then for the sides, on the left side, we're gonna be building up the oak logs on the outside two blocks of each side. So once you do on the right, you gotta do that on the left, two blocks out, and then we build it two blocks down from the top as well, all the way across. Now that we've done this, we're gonna to go to the opposite side and we're gonna build up the outside block on each side here. And then we're gonna build down or build out the top two blocks all the way across. And then from here, we're gonna do some counting. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And on the fourth block out, you're gonna build up and you're gonna do that for two blocks wide. And these are just gonna be the windows on the area. And then in the back right here, for one last window, you're just gonna build it up on the outside block and the top block. And then that's all you're gonna do for getting the window placements ready in the door. And now so we're gonna add some detailing in around on these walls. So before we go to making the roof, we're gonna be doing the detailing of the lower half of the house first. And we're gonna be starting off with the front entrance. So first thing I'm gonna do is just be adding in some basic oak doors for the front of the house. And once we do that, we're gonna go out to the front and we're gonna add in some composters just on the edges of the doors. And then we're gonna add in two oak leaves on each side. And then from there, we're gonna be adding in cobblestone slabs from oak log to oak log. And it's only gonna be going out two blocks. And now from here, we're just gonna be adding in the spruce fence right on the top of these bushes. And then we add in spruce trap doors. And we got the campfires and then we get rid of them with the shovel. And now on the side of each one of these oak log pillars, we're just gonna be adding in the spruce fence. And once we complete this, we're gonna go back over to the left side to do the decoration of the window area to begin with. 
and you're just gonna be using the spruce fences um, up to match the height of the window. So it's only three blocks, and then you go just like the front door, you're gonna add in spruce trap doors, and then you go campfire in the middle. And then you get rid of the flames with the shovel. And from there, this is gonna be the side of our farm, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. So now we're gonna go back over here. All right, so now that we're here, we're gonna be working on these two windows right now. And what we're gonna do is be using the spruce trap doors once again, but we're just gonna be lining the bottom of the windows and side of the windows with it. And one way I found to make this work a little bit better for me for placing the trap doors without being super annoying, is just place a block in the middle and then you place the spruce trap door on it. So then it goes the way you want it to instead of it being a little bit annoying and not working how you want it to. So you're just gonna line each window on each side like this, and then you're gonna just place another campfire on top. But we gotta do it over here again. So let's just bring this out. Okay, that's all we're trying to do. Okay, let's crouch and then we can place this here. And now all we do is place the trap doors. Now we get rid of these leaves and we throw on the campfires up top. And then we throw on the glass, which I actually forgot to do on the other side, but I'm pretty sure you guys are smart and intuitive. So you knew there was gonna be some glass right there, but I'll just go over here and place the glass right now. So we don't forget to do that. And now we're gonna move on to the back which this right here is just gonna be filled in with glass right here. And we're also gonna be putting spruce fences on each edge of this oak pillar on both sides. But the fun part is when we make our portal right out the back window. So you get a nice purple glow coming out. But first we're just gonna have to not break that. Let's, uh, Oh, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. What am I doing? And now we've actually fixed that. And just before we move on to the back, we got to add in a little bit of foliage on the side. So we're just going to put bushes in between the windows here and the fence. And then from there, we're just going to be adding in some sweet berry bushes in front. And then I'll just bone meal this real quick so you can get a full grasp of how this is going to look. So yeah, that's how the side's gonna be looking before the roof. And now to the back where the fun stuff is, we're gonna be adding in our nether portal here. So it's perfect for the beginner house. Everything is just all right next to each other. Anything you need to do, any type of thing you need to get, you can do. And we just set this off. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be adding in trap doors on the side to make it fit in a little bit better with the rest of the house. And then we just have a really nice start to the place here. But now it's time to start working on the roof. Start off by using some cobblestone stairs. And I built up all these fences one block too high. They're supposed to be four high, not five. Uh, I think I ended up making that mistake just because uh, I hadn't started to place the roof yet. But it's a really easy fix. You know, you just gotta break one fence around each side. So all you're gonna do is start placing the cobblestone stairs on the side of the house, just all matching along the fifth block up. And you're gonna do this on each side. So come over here and just do the same thing, except for don't be like me and keep on placing the stair upside down by accident. And now from here, it's gonna be really easy. You're gonna do the same thing on each side. So for the front and the back, it's gonna be the same. You just go upside down stair, right side up stair, upside down stair, right side up stair, and then just start to do it on the other side. And it is going to match up perfectly evenly. So you're gonna do one more upside down stair on each side. And then there you go. Here's how the roof is gonna look for the shape and just copy that onto this side. 
And all right, once you have that done, we're gonna be using some spruce stairs. And we're just gonna be filling in the whole thing with these. Don't worry, we're gonna be adding in a chimney and a window on the roof. But for now, just fill in the whole thing because it's really easy to do. Just go spruce stair all the way from cobble to cobble and it'll be really easy to do. And then we can add the details in after. Now from here, we're just gonna be adding in the window in first on the roof. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go to the second level of spruce stairs and then count in one, two, three, four. And you're gonna break out this block and then you're gonna break out another three from there. So two, three, four. And in the middle, what you're gonna wanna do is place two spruce planks. And then from there, let's just place a spruce block here so we can place the stair correctly. And then break that block and do the same thing on this side. Then all you're gonna wanna do is place in your glass here, and then you're gonna place another two spruce planks up top. All right, now we're gonna get into the fun part of making the chimney, and we're gonna do the same thing as the other side with going to the second layer of spruce stairs, but we're only gonna go in three blocks this time. We're gonna make this a three by two, so break out another two blocks to the side, and then break up the three blocks right above it. And then we're gonna build this to go two blocks above the top of the roof. So once we get to here, just go up another two levels. And what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna be adding in these spruce trap doors around it for a little bit more detailing, but also so we can break out the top layer of spruce planks. And you'll see why in a second, why that's so important. And you're not supposed to go there. So now that we're doing this, break out all these blocks and then we're gonna throw in the campfires in here so we get the smoke effect coming out the chimney. And it's gonna just add in a lot more detailing into the house to make it look a little bit better. But now what we're gonna be working on is, actually what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have to fill in the roof here, which it's really simple. All you have to do is place a couple of just oak logs here in the middle and then place them above it as well. And once you do that, all you're gonna do is place two glass panes here and you're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So now we're gonna work on the farm on the side and what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be making a fence post around it originally. And we're gonna just be using spruce fence and we're gonna go out one block and then we're gonna actually use an oak gate just so it makes it easier to tell where you're supposed to enter your little farm. And then from there, you just add one more spruce fence next to it and then we're just gonna do an oak log with an oak slab on top. And then we're gonna bring the fence all the way back to the end of the house. So we just gotta line that up real quick, which is just 10 blocks long. And then we throw the oak and the oak slab right there. And then we close it off with the spruce fence. And then you might wonder why I have an armor stand here with a pumpkin head. Just because we're making a scarecrow for decoration, it will take up one block, so this isn't gonna be the most efficient farm, but it works and is easy to make for your starter house. And this is just a little decoration piece that I think really throws in, I don't know, it makes it more lifelike, you know? More like a real farm. And once we have that in there, now what we need to do is we're gonna need to get some seeds and some carrots, just two things that I think are pretty easy to find off early in the game. And we're gonna need to get a hoe as well which you can't make a wife out of this thing. <laughs> okay, uh, I get it, not my best joke right there, not my best work, but let's just go back to getting these seeds and some carrots. And we're also gonna actually need to get a water bucket. And what we're gonna be doing here is we're just gonna be making a water source underneath, but first let's just that out for this and we're just going to be breaking this out and making a couple water sources around so the food grows quickly and so now we've done that let's just close this back off and now we'll go to the back side and just break this open a bit and just fill it in with water And so once you put your water sources in, it's just gonna be, you're just gonna be making everything on the ground. You're gonna hoe it and 
you can basically just place however many carrots or wheat or what, whatever you want to grow here. Whatever you got at the beginning of your game. If it's potatoes, you can do that. But we're pretty much just going to be randomly placing these seeds down for an aesthetic look. Now let's do a quick time lapse of me adding some outside decorations. Now that we got the outside decorations complete, we're gonna go on inside to work on the interior. And first thing we're gonna do is just break all of this grass out and make the entire floor oak planks. And after we do that, we're just gonna add in some oak plank stairs. And then from there, we're gonna put in two beds right in the middle here. And then we're gonna just be making a pattern carpet where we just have every other block is going to be black wool carpet and then the other ones is going to be gray carpet in between just give a little bit more color on the inside so it isn't just all oak planks now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some desks out of trap doors so we're just going to be placing the trap doors along the windows to get them to match up And then once we do that, we're gonna break out all of these planks underneath the desk. But first, let's do it on the other side as well, but we're gonna make it one block shorter. And we're gonna start it partway through the window. And then go to there. And we'll break out all of these. And this is gonna be where a lot of your storage comes from. But real quickly, just next to the beds, we're gonna place two barrels for storage and then a lantern on one and we'll put a pot on the other once we get that and now we'll just have a quick time lapse of me finishing the interior That is all there is to the starter survival house that is perfect for beginners. Let me know if you guys want to see me make more tutorials and what style builds you'd like to see in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It really helps me out. And to make sure you don't miss any more videos, subscribe to the channel and put on notifications. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace. Hey,